Hello, welcome to Stay With Stayla. I'm Stephen. And I'm Kayla. And today we're staying at one of the craziest hotel rooms I think I've ever been in. It's a bit like a fever dream. Kayla did not want to come. I did not. But I managed to, to convince come. her because we do get to visit a zoo as part of our stay. So she was willing to come because of that. But even I'm a bit... <laughs> I love animals. I'm so overstimulated from this hotel room. You really want to see this. You're in for, you're, you're in for a treat. <laughs> it's like someone threw up in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Should we show them? Let's go. This is the roundabout in the middle as you arrive. It's got these golden creatures on. They're so cool. Wow, that's nice. Look at that. It's like a bird's flying off a rock. Gosh, get ready for overstimulation city in this place. <laughs> There's reception. We're in. 353 is our room, top floor. Look at the lift. So this lift is actually a hot air balloon. There's a a draft in it though. <laughs> so we are this way, this is the top floor. Over here, this is a big window to the zoo. So you actually can see into the park there, there's an enclosure just there. So you actually see animals roaming around, but our room is this way. Somewhere's the car park. So room 353 is down here, all the way to the end, <laughs> but already, as you walk in here, just looking at the floor, it's like a safari. There's trunks, spades, leaves, magnifying glasses, some maximalist Chesington Adventure wallpaper. Ah, this is it, 353. This is our room. What is that? Oh, I like it. So that happens every single time you walk into this room and every single time you leave this room. It's louder than you think. Like, I'm actually gonna hear that in my sleep. I've heard it now four or five times and I really wanna bash my head into the wall. It's not fun. It's a fever dream. I'm gonna be singing that in my sleep. And that's not all. As you can see from the background, this room is an eyesore. Blue. And a lot to take in. It is very, very blue. It is. Blue. This is an Oreo themed room <laughs> and there is Oreo everywhere. Stephen showed me the picture of the main Oreo bed. I already said no, but this is no times a hundred. <laughs> so let me show you why. Let's show you. <laughs> you can see the room from this angle, but we're going to start here to the right where, because this is actually a family room, so you two children are able to sleep here, as well as two adults on the main bed. So there is a LG television up top. An Oreo game for you to play. You've got to roll the Oreo through the maze. And after the game, there is these blue crates here. This is kind of like a cupboard, like a, like a combination safe of which I don't know the code. The Oreo bed. <laughs> all of this. These are all Oreos. And it's not like an image. It's, you can hear it. It's actually like stacked Oreo biscuits. They've even got these quilted Oreo blankets on the kids' bed and instead of chocolates, comes with little Oreos. All right, let's test out the kid bed. Go on, Mina. I wanted the top. No. <laughs> I'll try and squeeze in underneath. This is pretty cozy, I could stay here. Yeah, not bad. Oh. All right, let's not sleep. We've got to show the rest of the room. Okay, let's head over to the storage space. So we have already put our coats and bags down and our umbrella, because it was raining when we arrived. Uh, there's some hanging spaces for your jackets and for your trousers, different cubby holes for all your bags and probably kids' belongings. Of course, there is an Oreo themed drawer. And then up here, we actually have a Nespresso machine. Can you believe it? A day longy one. There's also a kettle. We have UHT milk some PG Tips tea, Nescafe coffee and decaf, some instant hot chocolate and sugar, a couple of coffee pods and some mugs. Also in keeping with the blue theme, I think I'm gonna hate blue by the end of this video. Also something to know, there is hard flooring that almost looks like a milk splash, um, but it's surrounded by carpet. So 
The main entrance does not have carpet, but the edges do, which is quite bizarre, but probably easier to clean. So let's move on to the cringy part of the room. So in every corner of the bedroom, there are these Oreo trees. They have hard leaves with an Oreo trunk and some lovely black fake grass at the bottom there. Here is the fridge. So in this fridge, they give you absolutely nothing. I had to go buy a bottle of water for £3.50 because they said they don't provide any. So if you're staying here, there's no water, drink from a tap, or you're gonna have to go buy one downstairs. We have this huge blue desk as well, but this desk is humongous. Welcome Knowles family. There's an Oreo themed lamp where they've gone a bit stripy, more Beetlejuice than Oreo. There are these plug sockets actually everywhere in the room and you have type A and type C USB. So you don't need to bring a plug because I know when you buy phones now, they often don't even come with it, which is a bit annoying. If you wanted somewhere to sit in this room, they do have this plastic chair that reminds me of school, except it does have a little cushion on the bottom, but it is, it's a bit cheap. And I've just seen, if you were wondering where the hairdryer was, it's not over near the bathroom, it's in the corner of the room under the desk. They've even got more round Oreo-like designs on these curtains. There is normally a view, but it's, we arrived a bit late, so it's a bit dark. Hopefully we'll show you that in the morning you get to see some animals. But my favorite thing about this room that sold it to me was the Oreo bed. You have the top half, the cream filling, and then the base of the bed to make a Oreo. Right, let's try the bed. <sighs> Ooh. Oh, <laughs> this, I know it's an Oreo bed, but this is really comfortable. This is nice. This is nice. <laughs> if you've seen the other videos, the Bodmin Jail, the Savoy, the Western Manor, this is the most comfortable. Oh, I love this. So this Oreo that you see on top of the bed is actually a cover. Underneath is the duvet all wrapped up around the mattress. And so got, unfortunately, this isn't the blanket. And we got an Oreo cushion, which is actually solid. I, I oh my goodness! Sleep on that. <laughs> you could kill someone with that. <laughs> it's a brick. Uh, <laughs> I also don't think it's long enough. Yeah, she's not wrong. I'm not the tallest guy, and my feet are hanging off the edge, especially one of mine. So this room's been pretty crazy so far. I still can't get over the fact that we have that song every time we open the door, but we still haven't shown them the bathroom. That's my job. Let's go. Let's go. Something else about this room as well is actually the lighting. As you see, as I walk over here. It's like office lighting, fluorescent office light. So it might be a bit harsh on the eyes, but luckily you can turn these off. We do look so pale. <laughs> Not for me, I spend all day in an office. I don't wanna come and stay in one. Okay, you wouldn't know the bathroom is there, but it is blended in. Let's see what it looks like inside. No surprise there, it's in keeping with the blue and Oreo theme. We have the cutest polar bear enjoying an Oreo. Oreo wallpaper, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be sick of Oreos by the end of the stay. There is a huge mirror. And then we have a very clean and polished as usual basin. We have a face towel and two bath towels. And it looks like little penguin feet leading up to the bathtub. And oh my gosh, how cute those little penguins, which is Stephen's favorite animal. So that's super cute. And it does open up, so you can at least get to the shower taps. Very clean handles for the shower, a very clean shower head. And then fortunately, we also have a bathtub. Um, I'm pretty sure this is handy as well if you do stay here with children. With more and more Oreo theming on the back. So that was the Oreo room. The entire room is just so blue. It's so overstimulating. It's the craziest hotel room I think I've ever seen. Around bed, Oreos everywhere, music as you walk through the front door, fluorescent lighting, polar bears. It's 
it's, it's not crazy. for me. It's <laughs> not for me. And I already said no to it, but here we are. I know. In fairness, this is a, a, family, a family hotel room for you to visit Chesington Zoo. But it's cute. It's cute. It's got a theme. It's very consistent. And it's fairly brand new. So everything feels like it's barely been touched. So at least it's clean. Mm. Yes, these rooms are brand new. And I'll let you know how much this room cost at the end of the video. Should we go check out the rest of the hotel? Yeah. Cool, then. Let's go. Oh, I can sit here, watch some cartoons, relaxing. Although I can only do this when no one else is around because there's not many kids here watching Scooby-Doo. So by reception, they do offer portable phone charging. Here's where I actually checked in. I didn't need to speak anyone at a desk. I love it when you don't have to talk to anybody. But here, they show a board of all of the hotel benefits, the daily entertainment, the adventures that you can have, where you can dine, all on this map. So the hotel we're staying in is the Safari Hotel. We've come to the Aztec Hotel to look for somewhere to eat. And in the Safari Hotel, they have a sit down grill. Here they have the Temple Restaurant in the Aztec Hotel that is a, an all you can eat buffet for around 26 pound per adult. And then the meals in the other restaurant were also quite expensive. And Kenny has joined us, my brother-in-law. Hey guys, so welcome to uh... Kayla, Stephen, I just joined in. Good room, good everywhere. The issue with it is open a door, open a door and, wow, noisy. <laughs> Music, right? Music is nuts. <laughs> Every single time we open the door, this goes off. Really? Every time. And cut. <laughs> oh, look at these two chairs. <laughs> His and hers. <laughs> Something that's really cool here at this restaurant, which is the Safari Bar and Grill, even though it's dark right now, there's this outside seating area. You can buy a drink, have a nice seat there. And out here in the dark is actually one of the enclosures. So you can see some animals roaming at the zoo or sitting outside and having a nice relaxing chill. After much thought, I think we're going to grab a burger here at the Zavari Grill and try the food here instead of going out somewhere. I just couldn't help myself. The theming here is so cool. I want to try a burger here. Is it booked up? Uh, yeah, we've got about 90 people coming in the next hour. <laughs> I was like, dead, all right. Yeah, I'll go elsewhere. Yeah. Thanks. So um, never mind. It's apparently fully booked. So I guess... <laughs> I guess we'll be going out to get something to eat down the road instead. I really wanted a burger. So good morning, we just had our sleep here in the Oreo room. And for me, even though I did wake up early, as I said yesterday, I absolutely loved this mattress. It was super cozy. What about you? I don't know, it was too solid for me. It's quite firm. <laughs> Something that I did notice though, is it's, it was kind of super frustrating when you wake up early and you kind of want those 
extra few minutes. The insulation outside of this room is not the best. You can hear people running down the halls, kids shouting. It wasn't the best in this room, unfortunately, in that regard. But waking up to this beautiful view of their Serengeti village and being able to see a zebra. You can see the animals. It looks beautiful. What a gorgeous view. Just, yeah, shame about the room. <laughs> I don't know if I'm being too picky, but it was an experience, that's for sure. We're now going to go check out breakfast, which is in the Zavari Grill, where one of the restaurants that I showed you yesterday. You can have breakfast in the Aztec Temple restaurant as well, but if you want it in the Zavari restaurant, you do have to book. If not, you have to go to the temple. So, shall we go eat? I'm kind of hungry. Yes, starving. Need a coffee. <gasps> we need to try the door. Is the song on this early in the morning? So Ken, you slept in the bunk bed area. How did you sleep? How was it? You slept in the bottom bunk, right? Uh, yes, I feel amazing, warm, comfortable. It's nice, too small. <laughs> uh, four kids, uh, trust me, four kids bear dumb bed. So we were just about to leave. We just discovered at the back of this family page, there are these clues that will give you numbers to unlock that safe over there. I just thought, oh, that's a nice card, but it actually is a little treasure hunt to find out what's in that treasure box. And I, we can't leave until we find out what's in it. Yeah. Oh, ah, yeah. what's in it? Open it, open it! I'm right. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. Yeah. I'm completely stuffed now, what about you? Yeah, very good buffet. So what did we pay for this stay? So the Oreo room for two adults and two children, because it's a family room, was 270 pound. With that, you do get access to the zoo in the aquarium. You also get a breakfast included and the parking is included. So although it sounds like quite a lot of money because this room, it's completely crazy, but the size of the room is actually like two hotel rooms. It is massive. There's lots of fun for the kids. If you deduct the cost of the zoo and the breakfast, you're probably paying around 150 pound for the room. And how many hotels can you stay in that have a view overlooking a zoo enclosure where you can see zebras? It's so cute, we got some footage. I'm so glad we were just about to check out. Um, and then it looked like they released the zebras. We saw giraffes and now I'm just excited. I love animals. It really made the morning actually, it really lifted. But what's not good is that song still goes off in the morning. But it... <laughs> It but sends me. <laughs> it does shut off automatically at 8 p.m. though. But then turns on at 8 a.m. <laughs> like, honestly, there's people sleeping next door. I feel like such a burden opening the door every time. <laughs> and then last minute we found the treasure hunt again, just before we're about to leave. So I'm glad we did because now our doggies, Kai and Kobe, who you have not met yet, have got free teddies. They're little penguins. I mean, oh my God. <laughs> and they're little flamingos. <laughs> um, so yeah, they'll appreciate a little free gift when we get home. So that's been our stay here at the Oreo Room at Chesington Zoo. We're gonna now go and explore the animals, the zoo and the aquarium, which you get as part of your stay. So thank you for staying with Stayla. Thank you. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Bye for now. Ciao.